Today is New Year's Eve 2022, and I hope all of you are having a great celebration with everything you're doing with friends and family. We are doing a 30-day challenge starting tomorrow, January 1st, and think of it like a New Year's resolution, but... I'm going to help guide you through it. So it's not like you make a bunch of resolutions, try them out for three weeks and then quit or try them out for one day and then quit. The purpose of this, and a lot of you have been doing this. We did it a few years ago. I've been doing it on the Life Coach Matt channel. There's two other channels you guys should know about. First of all, if you want to subscribe, write this down. There's a Mateo Moskal channel. Just type that in the search bar and subscribe there. That is going to be only wall art, only colorful, um, big, painted wall pieces, not jewelry. Okay. And there's a bunch of videos up there you can watch right now. They're pretty fun. So if you're looking for more content, also there's a life coach, Matt channel on that channel is just me giving my own anecdotes about what I found helps me to do better in different things. And we did a 30 day challenge on that channel in December, which this month, which is just ending, well, we're going to do the second 30 day challenge and that's going to start tomorrow. So what I'm going to do for my challenge is I'm going to do an art video every single day. Now that's a pretty decent challenge for me, but that's what I've been meaning to do anyway. So I'm going to start first thing in the morning every day working on an art video for you. So on this channel, it will be a jewelry making video or it might be another type of art, but every day I'm going to upload one for you. If it's the wall art, I'll also put a copy of it on the Mateo Moscow channel. At the same time, I will check in with you on the Life Coach Matt channel. So we got these three channels going on, but I think it's really exciting and it allows people to separate and focus on the things they like. Some people like to dive into psychology with me and study like what helps us to become better people. And you can share your own anecdotes and thoughts and things you learned in the comments. And that's that's great for Life Coach Matt. There's already a bunch of videos like that up on that channel. Um, and you can watch, start watching them now. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. But... Um, the purpose of the 30 day challenge is not to do something wild and crazy. What I keep emphasizing is please pick something simple, pick something you've been wanting to do every day. That's a tiny bit more than what you've been doing. Not something that's going to stretch you really far and be really hard. And every day you're going to wake up and be like, I don't know if I can do this. Something very simple that you've just been neglecting because you put it off because you're not thinking about it because you procrastinate. And what people have used is I'm going to drink two more bottles of water a day right? It's not overwhelming. It's not going to kill you trying to do it, but you forget to do it. So that's your challenge. Every day, I'm going to drink two bottles of water. And then every day I do a check-in video. You look for the check-in video. You comment under the check-in video, whether you hit your challenge that day. And if you didn't, you comment anyway and say, I, I didn't make it, but I'm going to try again tomorrow. Okay. So some people say, I'm going to clean one drawer in my house once a day, like that, that drawer in your kitchen with all the tools that catches everything. One person said, I'm going to reach out and contact friends and family I've been neglecting. And she just texted or called on the phone somebody who she needed to reach out to. It might have been the same person several days in a row or different people, but it helped her to reconnect with friends and family. And she found that extremely beneficial and deepening in her life. Um, I did exercising and I committed to not making it hard on myself. So what I said was I'm going to do upper body one day, legs the next day, and, you know, three days of each. And then the seventh day I'm going to rest, you know, just stretch a little bit and so I had three days of upper body, three days of legs, and one day of resting. Um, but I didn't specify how hard I was going to go. And what happened was I started out really, really gentle, just doing a few push-ups and a few, you know, a few curls with some dumbbells. And then gradually I pushed it a little more and a little more. And as I felt comfortable and I didn't feel like it would be overwhelming, and I can feel the difference in 30 days. I feel stronger. I feel healthier. My stomach is flatter. And at the same time, I finally was able to start doing keto, which had been a struggle for me. And for the last three days, I've been doing not 100%, but like I've been eating about 70 to 80% just protein, like almost very little carbs. I've cut out about 80% of my carbs that I usually take and I've been sleeping better. I've been feeling better. So that was my challenge. And some people say, I'm going to walk one block a day. And then maybe 10 days into the challenge, they bump it up to two blocks. Make it easy, make it doable, but make it a tiny bit more than what you've been doing. So tell me in this video what your challenge will be if you want to join in. And I'm going to repost this video on the Life Coach Matt channel and maybe even on the Mateo Moscow channel. And so I want to give all of you a chance to tell me what your challenge is going to be. But please subscribe to all. Make sure you're subscribed to all three channels. And... I will see you guys. I'm looking forward to it. It's really exciting. Like, we're going to do this together. We're not going to do it alone. Like, oh, I, I make my, make my um, 
New Year's resolutions, but that, you know, in the back of your mind, you know you're probably not going to stick with them. Nope, this time we're going to all talk to each other and we're going to do this together, so we're going to stick with them. And if you miss a day, that's no excuse. You don't give up for the year. You just get right back on it because most of us missed a few days here and there and we just kept on jumping right back on and doing it, okay? All right, can't wait to see your comments and have a great new year.